today we are checking out how compatible couples are. Okay. I don't Everybody think that before you could COVID. consider like that, yeah, like marriage as a standard. Yeah, because to be honest, we want to be together for life, but we don't know if we necessarily want to get married. Oh, okay. Let's go mix it up, move everybody around. We also, oh, okay, this is a little different. We also invited four more. What are we doing, man? What does compatibility between a couple mean, babe? Compatibility is very much a choice. You choose. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna go off of this. Me and my girl, my fiance, we have a lot of differences, but we work, so that's, that's the thing. But me personally, I have a, like a personality where I can get along with anybody, so it, it's, it's, and I grew up in the hood, I grew up a nerd, I grew up. I just I just grew up just being around people. I know a lot of struggles. I know a lot of like different uh, situations people can be in. So, me personally, I can fit into like any friend group. I can fit in with the white. Well, I can't fit in with the white kids. You see that? But I I can like I could talk to white people. I can talk to like the nerds with like science and physics. I can I can do math. I can do photos. I can do all that. I can fit in with anybody. So. Cap uh, compatibility isn't a thing with me. It's really just personality and how you act. To be compatible to those differences, you choose to find compromises between them. Time is obviously Sarah, not Aaron. a legitimate factor. You can be compatible in two weeks. And a lot of ways <laughs> has to do with having aligned values and aligned beliefs. Like, we are very much not alike. Yeah. We just have so much fun together. It's really what I think it is. because we're different. I think it's good to see your partner as somebody that makes you better than you would be without your partner. That's a, that's a big mm -hmm. part of it. Oh, nice. My name is John. I'm Keisha. We're newly married. Dang, newly, okay. Hey, congrats. Thank you. Just being married for, yeah. what, four months? four months? That's when we started living together. Wow. It's like, oh. Like, we've been really living together for a while like before that. I see on the floor, but I accept <laughs> it now. Every relationship ha have their arguments. Minor disagreements here and there, but... Some major ones. <laughs> yeah. We've known each other for eight months, and we have been officially dating for about six. Okay. So I'm actually moving this summer. She has I'm some going little to feet. law school in a different state. Are you going to go with her? We're going to Houston. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> that wow. Awesome. Yeah. We met in October and have been dating since then. October? Yeah. He had something on his Hinge profile about composting, <laughs> and I was like, that's the guy for me. Compost. <laughs> if there's been a human rights violation or harm to the environment, we really think about it with every single thing that we do. <laughs> We've been together for two and a half okay. years, and we're engaged. Okay. We went to the same university and had the same major and had mutual friends, and then we met on Tinder. Wow. Lily and Joseph both seem really compatible. They went to school together, they have similar careers, and the fact that they have made that step towards marriage. Uh, my name is Eric. I'm Jessica and we've been together for two and a half okay. years. Okay. A very fun, beautiful, not stressful two and a half years. That's a lot. No problem. <laughs> Love you so much. We're definitely opposites of track. You like very fancy things and I like street burritos. If I were to put out there a street ranking right now, I would say mm -hmm. one. Same. No. Two. two. <laughs> and I think I would go Honestly, I think three, four, five. No shade. I was wish four and five. I feel like they're married. Like, that's <laughs> yeah, that changes you're it. You're married, which is points, but you're a new marriage, which is like how yeah, many? Yeah, you guys are points? also just figuring out you your conflicts because I mean? you just started living together. I would put. Can you hear me now? No. With Canvas talking presentations, I record myself once. Us, that's the big thing. Number. Moving in together, that changes everything. Because you don't know the person, you don't know their mannerisms, you don't know the behavior behind closed doors. Because once you go home, you, you can take your face off. Be that angry dude that you always was, but you never showed in front of her. That's what I'm saying. So we, we about to get into it right now. I'm about to... <laughs> I've uh, been really one. impressed with with these two. I, I want to rank them three. What do you think? Uh, I feel good about good about three. Three, four for the married couple, and I'm sorry, I really like you guys. <laughs> five. When we first started dating, we actually had no physical intimacy for a long time, okay. which was a little bit different, I think. We're both physical touch and quality time yeah. people. Oh. <laughs> like this, this makes me melt absolutely. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Lily and Joseph, like you can tell, he's like obsessed with her. Because of our, our faith, we agreed that we did. We wanted to save like sex until after. Oh marriage, wow, no. Which made like after marriage a lot more special after that. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
I would probably put Keisha and John in fifth, honestly. Yeah, they don't really <laughs> so know too much about each other yet. What compatibility is to us is so different. We've been having a sexual relationship for two plus years. Like, we know <laughs> each other. <laughs> I think Erica and Jessica were the most compatible. They're just comfortable with one another. They don't mind teasing one another. Exposing and, each other. Yeah. <laughs> I think you guys are number one. <laughs> I think we could put ourselves I in two. Them as as three. Yeah. Maybe I would put them four and then five even though you guys are fantastic. They made everyone a good couple to make it hard. I'd be disingenuous if I didn't rate as number one. So. <laughs> you guys at two. Yeah. But I'm gonna put you guys at three. Y'all for four. So we're gonna do like the numbers all together. At first, a little bit, when we said that we agreed to um wait until to marriage. wait until marriage to move in together. Even though in that's that a lot decision, of, we're that's compatible a lot of with stuff. each other, it's not very normal, I guess, in society. Wait, who was the couple that met online during pandemic? Both so, of us. Oh, oh, so both yeah. of you. Yeah. Okay. So, so one, two, two three, three, four, and five. Being a COVID couple, not to knock on them or anything, but they haven't melded communities well, and that's something around that's each other so a lot more than so that's a, a little driving relationship i think now that you know each other's rankings you guys have to decide number one literally in a minute and that person needs to stand here that's the best i'll just say real quick Can i feel yeah. super confident staying here because four out of five people <laughs> yeah. said three yeah two? i feel I like we're we sticking at the two. two our average was well we were two. ranked two and Okay. We both to rank each other. Lily and John. I remember more my own, so that helps you guys. To, so you just okay. Yeah. okay. I think Dumb at number four should have been number two. They were very much like, we are the best. So it kind of was like, okay, you are the best. Right. <laughs> <laughs> sure. you know? If in this ranking you were to change places or like switch things up, how would you do it? Like, you already okay. know I'm in. I'm in the front, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you already know. I don't want to like, you already know. You guys are not It's really not even I don't even know what that means. <laughs> You guys are all persuasive, charismatic people. I'm not saying we aren't either, but it just feels kind of like... I think you guys are super charismatic. <laughs> You're very sweet, that's why. That's <laughs> okay. Uh, I have a tendency to, to be biased towards married couples, of course, but I think I'll shut up because I think I was overruled there. So uh, <laughs> The most, the least? Uh, no, okay. No input from right. me. This is good. Oh, okay, that's how they did. All right. Can you please switch out your mouth Sort of love or lust or passion. Do you think there's a difference between Yes. Obviously, like when the straight couples were questioning each other, like marriage and engagement was like a big part of it, and like we might value other things, and like marriage hasn't always been a privilege we could even do. I feel like this pretty sure y'all right young as hell. Saying to be that. Number one. I'm pretty, pretty sure y'all been together the whole time. Marriage. I really like not... them. Um, really Eric and Jessica had an amazing connection. They both seem super, super comfortable together. It didn't seem like they're putting up any fronts for everybody. Should we? Alrighty, you guys are gonna go yeah. there, and you guys are gonna go up there. I would put the married couple second. Yes. We were thinking that too. Uh, I think like you yeah. said, their values really do mesh super well. I don't know, they just had like a confidence about like their relationship. Okay. They were very probably gonna be together the longest. They didn't really brag about it. I'm happy with them as number two, but okay. I would put the married couple number three. I think they were friends as well as partners. And you guys For me personally, about like these like pandemic relationships, so is like they have experienced hard things too, but so has every other couple. The couple that talked about being this, vegan and low waste talk about This is a weird lifestyle. kind of situation, right? Are you really naming couples pandemic babies, pandemic couples? That's kind of a weird thing that's going on right now, man. I mean, pandemic really hasn't changed that much things, unless you lived in California or something, but. Yeah, we, we rock with it. We don't with it. about the couple that is moving, about how their lifestyle is. So I don't know how they might be when they're in the same house, you know? For the couple that had the shared interests of um, not having um, a lot of waste and being vegan, for me, compatibility isn't necessarily having all the same interests or like being into the no. same exact things. For those reasons, I would rank the, the couple that's going to be in long distance pretty soon as number four. I also really liked how they were like so willing to fight to get to a different swap, yeah, and I think yeah, that really yeah. showed. Was like, I think we're number one. <laughs> yeah. Really like, yeah. The way they like talked to each other and interacted just seemed like it was easy for them. Let's switch them. Yeah. This is okay. a weird challenge type of thing. <laughs> And I think I'm happy with like having these two couple at four and five because they met in the pandemic. So like all the clubs are closed. The like club you can't really meet people. There's no temptations. There's like nothing there. Are you all happy with this ranking? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Now they changed a lot. Well, no, four and four is still the same. 
as soon as the other couples came in, we were like, we are going straight to the end. It's an easy thing to be like, well, they've only been together for this long, so they may not truly know each other. Makes sense, though. I think we got demoted to two because Eric and Jessica, they seem very authentic, and I love that about them. As a neutral observer, I, I probably would have done the same thing. When they switched okay. us up from this two spot to the one spot, sweet, awesome, because yeah. that's something I'm working for every day. <laughs> I only know myself. And I know that we're I mean, in the number one spot. It's such an emotional decision because <laughs> you want to fight, fight for that number one, one spot. Be one. Every couple should feel like number one. Like that's fair, and that's like a good thing. I just think it's so neat to see like other people in love. Honestly. To be continued. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> the number two, technically. Uh, <laughs> same sex couples going out now. Okay, this is, this is interesting right here. If you guys want to see more of these, just let me know. But yeah, this is a rugger, muffin, and my wah, my wah, my god.